when you start AutoCAD 2016, an interface like this is displayed. You can start new drawing by clicking on this start drawing. Click on start drawing. A new drawing will be started. Here is the name of the software and here is the version 2016. And .dwg is the extension of AutoCAD drawing files. Then here toolbars are arranged group wise. Here is the draw group, modify group. Likewise all the toolbars are arranged. Then what your drawing we will create that will be created inside this area. Then this is called as command line or command prompt. And there are different switches are there that we will learn step by step. Before starting any work in AutoCAD at first you will have to decide the limit size. Suppose if I want to create this drawing. Here the total length is 100 and width is 30. You will have to consider the largest length whether it is horizontal or vertical. Now here largest length is 100. We will have to take the limit value more than this required length. If we don't use limit what happens that we will see at first. If we start creating drawing without limit suppose I take the line command give the first point make ortho on for straight line and give the length of 100 enter now this line got outside of the screen for beginners it is very confusing when something like this happens therefore it is very important that you set the limit and create the space for your object to set the limit you will have to give the limits command give the limits command you can directly type it once you type the limits command then press enter then he is asking for specified lower left corner now what is this lower left corner that we will see now in this case we will take the extra space surrounding the object therefore we will take it 120 120 as a limit value suppose i need this space then the lower left corner will be this point and this lower left corner you always have to set to 0 comma 0 then this other corner will be the upper right corner. The location of upper right corner vary as per your object size. Now in this case we need this 120 120. The meaning of this 120 comma 120 is the length of the space is 120 and width of the space is 120. We will give the limits command again. Enter. Then specify the lower left corner. Here you will have to give 0 comma 0. Enter. Then upper right corner will be 120 comma 120. Enter. Here you can view that it has accepted the two values lower left corner and upper right corner. Now these values are just recorded in the memory. But it is not used to apply to the screen. To resize the screen as per these values you will have to give zoom all command. For zoom you will have to give z enter. And for all you will have to give a enter. Then your screen size will be resized. Now if we try to create the same line of 100 length. We will give the line first point. We will make ortho on. Give the length of 100. Enter. And enter. Here you can view that your line is completely visible. And it is not going outside your screen. Therefore it is very important that you set the limit. So that you can make the drawings very easily. And this limit and zoom all command you will have to give for each and every drawing. Then at first we will see the line command. Here is the line command. In AutoCAD we can give commands in two ways by clicking on the symbol of the command or by typing it. You can also give the line command by typing L. For line command L is the shortcut. For most of the command you can find the shortcut by typing the first letter of that command. If particular command cannot be located by first character then you will have to give the first two character. For example Suppose I want to give this trim command. Now if I give here T. Here is the mtext command is there and trim is not there. Then I will have to type the second character of trim that is R. Then it will give me the trim command. For the most used command first character is the shortcut. And after that next set of commands will have first two character. And likewise it will keep on increasing. Depending on the use of command. So you can find the shortcut of any command by typing the letters here. Press escape and if you choose command from here then you will have to press enter to activate that particular command. 
If you press enter that command will start and if you want to cancel any command press escape on the keyboard it will cancel the command. I will take the line command from here click on the line. Once you give the command you will have to read the message and as per that you will have to do your work. If message is not shown near the cursor then you can also read it from here in this white line area. To show the message near your cursor you will have to make the dynamic input on. Now here dynamic input switch is not shown for 2016. To make it display in this area you will have to click here and click here on the dynamic input so that it will show that button here and by clicking on this button you can make it on or off. Now dynamic input is off so it is not showing message near your cursor and if you make it on it will show the message near your cursor. For this set of tutorials that we are going to learn it is very important that you keep this dynamic input on. One more thing this red line green line indicates the 0 0 start point. A red line indicates the y 0 and green line indicate the x 0 and this is the 0 0 starting point. You can give the first point from anywhere suppose I want to start from here and click the first point take your cursor away and if you want to create a straight line either vertical or horizontal then you will have to make ortho on from here. You can also make ortho on off by pressing F8 key on the keyboard. Suppose we will click here it will make the ortho on. Once the ortho on your line will come straight. Then give the direction where you want to go and give the length of the line. Suppose I want it to be 100 then press enter. Now here this line is created of length 100. Then again give the direction where you want to go. Then key in the length in that direction. Suppose I want it to be 60. Enter. Then again I want to go on the left side by 100. Enter. During creation of line if you make some mistake and if you want to cancel the last line you can click on this undo button here. Click on undo to cancel the last line. You can also choose this undo button by pressing U on the keyboard. When you click on this undo option it automatically passes you to the command prompt. You can also give this U manually. Then again I want to create this line of 100 length. Then here is one more option is close option. Using this close option you can connect the start point and end point of the line. If I now click on this close option it will connect the line to the start point and it will stop the line command. Whenever you see here type a command that means your current command is complete and you are ready to give the next command. Then if you want to remove this object then you will have to use the erase command. Here is the erase command. Keyboard shortcut for erase is E. Enter. Select the erase. Then you will have to select the object that you want to erase. Click on the object you want to erase. Here it is showing four objects are selected. Then press enter. It will erase all the Objects. Suppose I will take line command from here again. Line, give the first point. Then, if you want to create the inclined line, then you will have to make the ortho mode off. Click here to make the ortho mode off. In the case of inclined line, you will have to give the length and the angle. Then, how to work out this angle? We'll just cancel. When you create a plus symbol like this, a line going towards the right side from the center is at an angle of 0 degree, and line going straight in the upper direction is at 90 degree. Line going towards straight left side is at 180 degree. And same is the case for line going straight downward will be at 90 degree. That means from here to here is the 0 to 180 degree and from here also 0 to 180 degree. Suppose if I want to create some line here, I want to create this line then you will have to specify the angle from this 0 degree. Same way suppose if I want to create some line on this side and I want this line to be at a 30 degree from this vertical line. Then I will have to specify the angle from this 0 degree and not from this 90 degree. That means I don't have to specify the 30. If I specify the 30 the line will go in this direction. Therefore if I want to create a line in this direction then I will have to specify the 120 degree that is angle from this 0 degree up to the desired line. Same way suppose I want to create one line in this direction and 30 degree above this 180 degree. Then again I will have to specify the angle from 0 degree. That means I will have to specify this angle and this angle will be 150 degree. That is 180 minus 30 will be 150 
degree and same is the case when you want to go on the bottom side if you want to go on this side you will have to define this angle of 30 degree from the 0 degree and again if you want to go on this side by angle of 30 degree from this 90 then you will have to specify this total angle of 120 degree and same is the case here you will have to specify the angle of 150 degree the, that means angle on both sides are same then you can control the direction on which side you want to go using the mouse suppose if I want to create a line from this point if I want to define the angle on the upper side of x axis then you will have to take your cursor above and if you want to specify the angle on the lower side then you will have to take your cursor down 